Hey, Brad Chmielewski here with another mini-sode of Shadow of the Vein. Sam and I were talking on a previous mini-sode you, you watched, and he was talking about podcasting. And I, I had more questions about video game podcasting, and I wanted to dive into that with him. So if you missed that one, you should go back and check it out. But uh, if, you do, if you did see that and need a reintroduction to Sam, a.k.a. Just Casual, here he is. I'll let him introduce him with uh, and run down some of the projects that he works on. Yeah, so I'm going to keep this quick because I know you guys are loving these minisodes and they're great. So you already listened to the previous one. If not, yeah. go listen to that one. But basically, I do a League of Legends Anonymous, po- the League of Legends Anonymous podcast, aka the Lola podcast, where we talk about League of Legends and getting better at the game. I do a few other podcasts. One new one that I'm doing is. The Grind, which is with the Ever Esports Organization, which is an amateur esports organization in North America that are involved, that have amateur teams involved in like COD, Smash, League of Legends, H1Z1, just whole gamut of games. So, and then I also do one with Walden Green, who is an assistant coach for G2 at the moment for the League of Legends team. So mm-hmm. that season one hasn't been completed, but I've done a few podcasts, yes. Right. And you're a <laughs> passionate podcaster um you were uh for a while doing these daily vlogs i think they've slowed down to like a weekly kind of thing yeah (laughs) maybe a weekly might be a generous statement too at this point (laughs) but you are you're someone that's a pushing podcast for especially in the video game space uh for organizations and things like that i know you've talked about trying to do maybe like an immortals one Mm -hmm. and things like that uh but how's it been podcasting for video games. I've been doing the Shadow of the Vein now for what close to three years or so. And uh it's it's an interesting it's a interesting space, podcasting and video games. They don't always go together, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> when you think of video games, you think of Twitch and YouTube if you're like trying to digest that stuff. So it's definitely a challenge. It's really exciting to do because you know, I think audio has a special magic to it. Because when you hear someone talk, everyone pictures something differently, right? Like if you say, like, I'm here talking about this game that I'm playing and this is my experience, everyone's picturing a different face. Everyone might be picturing a different champion in the game that you're playing. Maybe they don't know the game you're playing and they're formatting, formulating a completely different idea of the game. And it's really powerful because you don't get distracted by visuals. Right. And also, it's mobile. Like... You're on the go. Everyone's busy. You know, all these big companies like Uber, Airbnb and stuff, they save money and time. That's the big thing that they sell, even though they're selling. They say they're selling something else. So with podcasts, you can wash the dishes and listen to podcasts. You can drive and listen to podcasts very safely. You can uh, mow the lawn and crank up your volume and listen to a podcast. Mm -hmm. So and then you bring in gaming into that again, which is a very visual thing. People love talking about games they love talking about esports they love talking about playing games people just love talking and especially if it's something that you're passionate about which the gaming community is super passionate about their games right hearing a good conversation or hearing a good story about something that they love a brand that they appreciate companies that they're wondering why they're doing certain things um i think podcasts are one of the coolest way to get like really intimate with the listener and i think that's why it's really, really cool, especially in the gaming space. Mm-hmm. Have you found that because podcasting is often, um, I want to say, an older group, an older audience listens to them? It's sure. a lot, uh, mm-hmm. probably more adults because they're listening to them at work a lot mm-hmm. of time. Have you found that to be the case with uh, the shows you're doing? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so for the Lola podcast, I think our main dem- demographic, I think we did something on Twitter where we like we did some analytics. It's like 25 and up, basically. So right. it's, like you said, the working class. And I think at least like a few years ago, the demographic of podcast listeners were like almost middle, upper middle class, like white collar workers at like desks and stuff like that. So when you think about game, the majority of the target audience is like, 12 to maybe 21 or something like that <laughs> right so it's, it's definitely weird but at the same time uh at least what i'm targeting we are targeting that demographic that we do hit it's because we want more to have more adult-like conversations we don't want to throw around dank memes back and forth like the whole episode <laughs> we want to have a little more intellectual and mature conversations 
and I say this, and I'm thinking like that's not our podcast, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, um, I think that kind of audience also appreciates it more. So targeting that younger audience, gaming audience with podcasts, I think is definitely a challenge, and it's something that I probably will have to deal with soon with some projects I'm trying to do. I guess yeah, mm-hmm. it'll be interesting. Yeah, that's one reason why I I started doing the video version uh, was mm-hmm. because that audience we said like. Twitch and YouTube a little more so they're on there even if they're not watching the video version they're still listening to the audio and it's a very uh uh it's a funny idea that that's how music and podcasts are consumed by a different yeah. group of people yeah absolutely uh, as far as talking about video games do you find it's almost too much sometimes because it's a massive space uh, just, <sighs> you focus on one game which is fantastic a lot of time but then you're like i would love to just talk about mario a little bit or like the switch came out or mm-hmm. this new the d- d- destiny <laughs> is that, yeah, is that to, troublesome sometimes you know it's crazy because i kind of think like oh how cool would it be to be like on that like ign talk show or something or like <laughs> there, i think there's like a trending podcast called uh oh shoot it's like good games or something and it's like hosted by like three girls which is like cool to see in the scene as well and they have like really fun conversations about games they just basically like talk about whatever they've been playing and stuff and that's definitely appealing and that's why also i'm like branching out on my projects as well but also i think there's so much you can do in within a game so for example league of legends that game changes every two weeks with the patches there's the esports scene we're trying to teach people, so we do run into like the same content over and over sometimes. But uh, so far, we're okay with that. I don't know what that's gonna. I don't know if that's gonna be true in like a year or so. I have no idea. There's definitely times where we want to talk about other games, but uh, that is not what our podcast is. That's not what we targeted. That's not our audience that we mm-hmm. built. That's not what they're expecting. If we did do that, do something like that, uh, we would definitely. I guess I have to make a new podcast. Like, I mean, the OK Gamers, Just OK Gamers, they primarily talked about League of Legends, but they haven't talked about League, I think, in like a year. Okay. They usually talk about a lot of games. They Their podcasts are pretty long, and luckily, they're, whatever they've done, whether it's like genius business ideas or the personalities, I mean, they make, a good, they make good content. They are able to branch out more because that, their audience likes them enough, or they like their content enough, or whatever it may be. So, luckily, they get to do that. If maybe not luckily, that's what they want to do, so they get to do that. I don't know if that's what I want to do. <laughs> yeah, right. Because even if you do want to talk about one game this week, uh, I don't know if I had time to play all these games. And then people are Absolutely. like, yeah. So having a focused podcast is nice, and that audience, you know, they know what they're gonna get because they're not like, well, you talk Destiny for. 30 minutes, I don't play that game, I don't like it, I'm not mm-hmm. listening next week now. <laughs> yeah, and, and the thing is, like, I like being able to dig deep into something. You know, I watch Game of Thrones. After Game of Thrones comes out, I'm, like, sitting on my hands until Friday for the YouTube channel New Rockstars to, like, do their episode breakdown. <laughs> or then I'm, like, watching, waiting for uh, uh, Control Shift. I don't remember. It's some, like, keystroke name of their ch- channel. But then he breaks down the episode and gives his theories and opinions. I love going deep into things. And luckily, like if I if I made a God of War or okay, let's say if I did a gem, general gaming podcast, how deep can I get into something, right? right? And then if I want to, like how deep can I get into like the God of War three game? Like how long can I talk about a game that lasts six hours, eight hours to play through? <laughs> so I like getting, I like to get deep into things and really understand and become like an expert of whatever. I'm doing or talking about. Mm-hmm. Do you so uh, earlier? I was saying like uh, audio saves time. Do you think we're going to see more organizations in the esports space start to do audio podcasts as part of their content? Oh, I get so excited when I see someone do it. CLG did one, and I was in talks. I'm like, hey, let me help you out. You know, I'll do stuff for free, trying to get my like foot in the door a little bit. They released four episodes and they stopped. And I, I think. The way that podcasts work, it's a branding thing. And when it comes to marketing and branding, that's not a short term. At least if you want it to be really successful long term, you're not looking for short term gains. I think uh, you need to put yourself out there. You need to build loyalty. You need to 
build trust and after decades or whatever like <laughs> there's a reason why everyone like when they think of nike or when they think of shoes and athletics they think of nike they want to go to nike under armor is doing that too so i think when you think about branded podcasts for teams which i really think people every team should be doing i don't know why they aren't because it's 10 times cheaper than doing youtube um <laughs> and then you could just post it onto youtube anyway i think podcasts are not being utilized by the esports scene because again you have really passionate gamers that want to learn everything about that they want to know about the company and they want to have reasons to like you more they want to throw money at you just give right. them good reasons to it. and then when it comes to organizations that are like trying to like league of legends is franchising right now where all these organizations are coming in like nba organizations coming in to like try to get a piece of the pie this is the time to like build loyalties from 12 year olds listening to your podcast for five years and being like, I don't know why I love CLG, but I love CLG mm -hmm. because players keep moving around. What's steady? The brand. The brand is the only thing constant, at least at this moment of time. So I really think podcasts are the place where you can get intimate into someone's ear, almost brainwash them with like love for <laughs> you and have good conversations about league or whatever you want with an esports brand. You would think that some of these uh, sports companies would know that having sports talk radio and yes. coming in, they'd be like, hey, this is a good idea. Absolutely. And there's plenty of people that watch like the analyst desk that Riot puts out. They put out extra content that are super, super popular. And I think they did the, the League Community podcast, which stopped. And that was on the top 50 charts. I was like, whoa. Like, yeah. this came out of nowhere. This is amazing. And no one's doing it in the esports <laughs> scene except, like, the Score Esports did one. I think there's a few others. I think every single media company that covers, like, esports should be doing a podcast, if not a YouTube show, minimum. Like, it's so easy to do. You don't need to spend $500 on mics and equipment. You honestly could get good enough audio with your iPhone microphone as long as you get into a quiet space. Use your phone and editing is so easy to learn compared to like Adobe Premiere Pro for like video editing. It's yeah. so easy to get into. <laughs> and yeah. it's so cheap. It's cheap. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I don't know why people don't get into it. Maybe it's the audience, like we were saying, is younger. So they're not thinking that's their best use of time or yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know. But it's awesome to hear that you're so passionate about one video games and podcasting. I think it. Uh, yeah, absolutely ignites fire under people like myself who maybe you get focused on your thing and you're not talking to other people just about the um the space and you just kind of do yeah. your thing and you're like yeah i don't know is anyone listening cool <laughs> let's keep doing <laughs> yeah. this definitely know that feel <laughs> but awesome sam thanks for joining me on this mini so to talk game podcast this was great absolutely it's been fun i always love talking about this kind of stuff uh, absolutely <laughs> so what's the best place for people to f listen to all the projects you're working on or find out about them yeah so like i said there's a welding green podcast the lola podcast and the grind podcast right now um all those links and everything can just be found on my twitter twitter is the best place to reach me to ask me questions i get back to people i check it regularly uh that's at at just casual nine that's with the number nine at the end of just casual couldn't get it without the nine. Um, but yeah, all my links are there, even to my YouTube channel if you want to see what I'm up to sporadically trying to... I got to up that vlog stuff, but uh, yeah, <laughs> it's all about time. So Yeah, no, I know. I haven't been able to do any vlogs for Shadow the Vein or really myself. Just time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but, I got gotcha. you. But cool. I'll be back with uh, more mini-sodes of Shadow the Vein soon, so be sure to subscribe and follow on Twitter as well at Shadow the Vein. Take care. Let's get this over with.